Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the DC Direct Arkham City Wave 2 Riddler figure. Now, um, there was some sort of mix-up with these. Um, the ship day was actually about two weeks ago, and they didn't come out in a lot of places. Um, they did show up online in a, at a few retailers. Um, not mine, though. So I ordered mine offline, and they are slowly trickling into stores. Now, um, Riddler was probably my most wanted out of this wave, or tied with Mad Hatter for my most wanted. But he is a great looking figure here. Um, unfortunately, it looks like they didn't even attempt at giving him a set of glasses. Which is, um, it's sad, but foreseen at the... Um, because DC Direct has a long history of screwing up glasses. I mean, you don't have to look much farther than the um, Hush Commissioner Gordon they did. The glasses were just abysmal on that figure, so I'll see if I can't find something to come up with. He does come with his question mark cane and his hat. Although, um, the cane is completely green. In the comics, I think the actual question mark was yellow. He does look great, however, on the back of the packaging here. You can see the other characters in this line. Well, wave. Riddler, Catwoman, Detective Mode, Batman, Hush, and the Mad Hatter. There's no read-up for Riddler, just a generic little read-up about Arkham City in general. So, not too much to say about the packaging. Black Lantern logo base propping him up here. Let's open him up. And here we have the Riddler out of packaging. Now, real quick, those are not his glasses. I put them on there so you guys could get a look. Those are actually from the Marvel Legends Blade. and I don't like them too much. They look too much like sunglasses for me. Um, but, you know, it's something. It's all I had offhand. Really wish we could have gotten glasses on this guy. Um, another thing is there is no base um, in any figure from this way, with the exception of Mad Hatter, which I haven't pulled out of packaging yet, but I'm guessing that says something for the way he stands, because Riddler can stand fine on his own, but usually they do get a base with the Arkham City or Asylum figures all got bases as well, I believe. But um, one more quick note. I will not be pulling the cane out of his hand in this review because it was an absolute nightmare to get it in. I had to take a knife and force the hand open and then like really carefully put the cane in there, which honestly feels like if you're not careful with it, it's going to break. So be prepared for that when you get this guy. Now, um, that's a lot of negative things to start off a review with, but the fact is, this is a really great Riddler figure. Um, as you've already seen a close-up on his face, but you didn't see it without the blade glasses. Um, there's a fantastic face sculpt on this. He's kind of got this crazy scowl on. Let's actually pop his hat off. The hat stays on just fine. Of course, it's um, nicely detailed for what it is. There's no question mark markings on it. Now, um, the tie... Oops. The tie as well. In the back of the packaging, there's a um, better image of it. Now he doesn't want to stand because I said he didn't need a base. Like I just said. And propping him up here... Maybe I'll dig a base out for him. On the back of the packaging, as I was saying, the tie is a perfect question mark. Here, there is no bottom dot to the question mark. There's just this little dot to the side, which I'm assuming is a, I don't know, a clip. But I'm kind of curious as to where the, um, I guess that's the riddle. Where's the lower part of his question mark on his tie? Um, however, the rest of the outfit came off pretty well. Especially on the back here with the big question mark. Of course, he's getting on the hands and the palms. Now, if you go in um, to some super scrutinous detail here, let's actually get his hand up, you'll see that there is a little bit of paint error throughout the figure. Let's try and get that to focus a little bit better. You can see there's some purple on his hand there, some black on his finger, and that continues up onto his head. Um, let's actually go back around here. Uh, yeah, right there on his ear, the paint from his hair spilled over. But you know, that's not a big deal. You can always just say maybe he was helping out one of the henchmen build the devices in the game. Which, um, that's another thing. A lot of people didn't like how they kind of, um, turned Riddler into, you know, this almost Jigsaw-esque villain in the game. And I actually kind of dug it. It really gave me some reason to chase around the Riddler challenges. You know, the fact that you actually got to see him on, like, Asylum where you just never saw him even if you got all the challenges. Now, one thing that really stands out about this figure, besides the sculpt, is the level of articulation. Um, the head does a full 360 up and down, arms are on a ball joint, out, full 360, bend and spin at the elbow, and spin at the wrist, legs go forward and back, single joint at the knee, and have, and well, they spin at the boot, not the ankle. That's actually some pretty decent articulation compared to what DC Direct normally gives us. 
So, um, like I said, this guy's kind of a pain to find at the time I'm making this video. Um, and he's not perfect, although he's probably one of the best Riddler figures we've gotten in a long time. You know, there's a little bit of paint error, there's some quality control issues, and I really, you know, broken record, wish he would have gotten a set of glasses, if not a base, which it looks like the more I fool around with him, the more he's going to need. But, you know, superb articulation, a very real-world Riddler. You know, I think anybody's going to want this guy in their set, and, um... You can probably find a much better set of glass than this little set from the Blade, Marvel Legends Blade I've got. So running you about 20 bucks online, um, well, at your local comic shop. Online, there's probably a pretty decent markup right now because they know not everyone got him. But I highly recommend picking this guy up. He's a fantastic figure. And that being said, this is JTrain997, and I'll see you soon, YouTube.